Hello dear friends, this is Ewan Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you again and share with you another word from the Bible, the Word of God. I'm going to share with you a word on the fact that uh, praise and worship go together. Well, praise and worship go together. We need to learn to worship God. And to worship God, we need to learn to praise God. Or they go together. I want to share with you some words from the Bible that might help you to live today closer to the Lord and to please God with your life and to find the answers that you're looking for. Praise God. May the Lord bless this little message in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the Bible at Matthew, in the fourth chapter, Jesus is being tempted of the devil in the wilderness. And the devil says to him, If you will fall down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of this world. As he felt that he had the power to do that. And Jesus said to him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written in the word of God, You shall worship the Lord God, and him only shall you serve. So here's a good word for us today. We shall worship the Lord God, and Him only shall we serve. It's important to know that, to know that we worship God. There's different ways we can uh, worship God. We worship God by, by just praising God, by praising Him. It's good just sometimes alone in your room or wherever you are. You might be driving down the street in a car, or whatever you might be doing, when you have a few moments, you might just praise God and just say, Praise the Lord God. Praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise God. He's the God of glory. He's a God of forgiveness. He's a good God. He's a God of mercy and might. He's a God of love and, and direction in my life. He's alive. He knows everything. He sees me. He knows my name. Praise God. Praise God. I will praise the Lord. Learn just to praise Him. It pleases God for you to praise Him. And then we need to recognize we worship God by, by thinking about Him. It's good to think about the Lord. Give Him some of your thoughts during the day. Think about Jesus, how much He loved you when He went to that cross and where He hung on that tree and died to save you from a devil's hell so that you could be in heaven with Him. Oh, praise the Lord. Say, say, I love you, Lord, and I'll follow you. And wherever he leads, you will follow. And as he goes, you will go with him. And you'll become strong because his strength is in you. So look up. Don't look back. Don't look down on anybody. Always look up to Jesus and pray for mercy and grace. And this is the way we worship God. And then, oh, we pray, we find something else. Over here in the book of of uh, First Timothy, and we read we read in in the book of I'm sorry it's Second Timothy the first chapter in verse seven, Second Timothy, verse seven first chapter, he says the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Now the Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, dear friend, so you do not need to be afraid of anything or anybody. You need to have faith and hope in God and you'll get, he'll have courage. Courage to stand up in any situation, go forth in anything before you and know that all is well. He will give you power. Power. Power to believe. Power to move the mountain. Power to keep on keeping on. Power to love someone that don't love you. Oh, praise God. So you'll find the power to share with others your faith and tell others how much you care for Jesus, how much he cares for you. And so we learn to have power, power to overcome Satan and every evil spirit of temptation and live in a dark world and shine as lights in the world and to all to know that we're in a dry and barren land, but we have him who is the water of life. Praise the Lord. And there's power. And then he says, love. He gives us love. Love is a wonderful thing. Love is a choice. You need to choose to love something. You need to choose to love someone. Do not wait till you feel like loving somebody. Just love that person because you make up your mind you're going to love him. Love is a choice. 
all we need to choose. The Bible says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You choose whom whom you will serve, but as for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. Joshua said that, and it's a word for all of us to choose. Choose you this day whom you will serve. And choose to love. Choose to love instead of to to feel angry and hold grudges against somebody. Choose to love. Choose to love your family, your wife, your husband, your children. Choose to love them every day. Choose to love your friends. Choose even to love enemies if you have any. By the grace of God. He's given us the power and love and a sound mind. May God give you a sound mind. May you know that your thoughts will come from God and that He'll heal your demonic thoughts and He'll give you a sound mind. A mind that was fashioned after the Lord and He'll give you peace in your heart and your spirit and your mind. God bless you. Help you today to know that God has not given you a spirit of fear, dear friend. He's given you a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. Keep on looking. Keep on seeking. Keep on climbing. You're going to make it. It is important. Over in the book of Psalms, in the 63rd Psalm, it says, The Lord is, is my Lord, and, and greatly I will call upon Him. I will seek the Lord in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. I will seek the Lord in a dry and thirsty land where no matter water is. You may be right now in a dry and thirsty situation. You may be in a situation that uh, you feel like you're in a desert and there's no water. Uh, you're facing a problem and there seems to be no answer. And so you're in the darkness, there seems to be no light. But I want you to know that though it's a dry and thirsty land, that the Lord is very near to you. And He's the water of life. Jesus said, I'm the water of life. He that follows me and believes in me shall not thirst but have the water of life and shall never thirst again. For the water that I give unto him will be a water of everlasting life water and he will never, never thirst again. So trust the Lord in the time of need. Trust the Lord out there in that barren land where no water is. The Lord is there to help you. He is there to help you like he helped the woman who came to the well to draw water. And Jesus said, I'm the water of life. And she drank from him by faith. She went back and told her friends, I found Messiah. Oh, there is a river that never shall run dry. There is a fountain that cleanses from all sin. Come to the water, there is a vast supply. Oh, there is a river that never shall run dry. There came a thirsty woman to draw water from the well. Her life was ruined and wasted, her soul on the way to hell. But then she met the master, he told her of her sin, and said, if you drink the water that I give, you'll never thirst again. Oh, there is a river that flows from deep within. Oh, there is a fountain that frees us from all sin. Come to the water, there is a vast supply. Oh, there is a river that never shall run dry. Amen and amen. If you've never prayed before, pray and ask the Lord to save you. Ask Him to forgive your sins and ask Him to come into your heart and to be the Lord of your life. Tell him you believe he rose again and that he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. You see, he paid for all your sins on Calvary's cross. And when you pray for him to come into your life, he takes away all the sins they're all paid for. And you're saved forever. Find your good church. 
walk with the Lord, find uh, uh, fellowship with God's people, be baptized and believe in the Lord and serve God. May the Lord bless you. And remember, remember dear friend, praise God, that we, that praise and worship go together. Amen and amen.